Meantime, after our education system fractured into the Zoom screens of remote learning last spring, experts feared millions of children would fall behind. And now a surge of new research shows they were right. So how can these students get back on track? Tonight's senior reporter Eileen Buckley is tackling this topic, going in depth and getting the parents perspective. <laughs> He really just needs that in-person learning to succeed. This is 12-year-old Brendan Bocard, a seventh grader at Orchard Park Middle School. The district has a mix of in-person and at-home learning. But Bocard's mom, Krista, says on the days he is home for asynchronous learning, everything falls apart. He a lot of times thinks he's doing these online assignments. And then he comes to find that either he didn't turn it in in the right area or it wasn't counted or maybe he really just didn't do it at, at all. Brendan has ADHD and is provided with an individualized education program or IEP. His mother says without five day a week in school learning, the IEP does not work. Come to find out, he failed three classes last quarter. A lot of our special ed kids, particularly those with attention deficit, and those with autism really need that social construction of learning, and they haven't had it. Dr. Wendy Patterson is dean of the School of Education at SUNY Buffalo State. Patterson says it's up to educators to figure out what areas students are falling behind. This is not a question of failing. Children didn't fail. We did. Um, whatever it is that didn't allow that child to, to continue or to thrive, that is something that we have to make up for. But more alarming, experts say remote learning is causing more anxiety for children. Bocard says that's what's happening to her son. How worried are you about this level of anxiety that he's dealing with? Are you going to have to seek some help with that now as well? He was seeing um, a psychologist, but I actually just um, signed him up with a life coach. According to the CDC, mental health related ER visits for children ages 5 to 17 increased nearly 28 percent between March and October of 2020, compared to the same period in 2019. But not all students are struggling with remote learning. In fact, I spoke to Buffalo School parent Keith Jones earlier this week. His daughter's a senior here at Bennett Innovation High School. He says she's doing quite well. She hasn't fell through no cracks. Matter of fact, some of her grades are better now than it was when she was going to school. Eileen Buckley, 7 Eyewitness News.